Hello and welcome to The Big Three from Arizona State University. I'm Veronica Sanchez, bringing you the top stories from America's most innovative university. Here are three newsworthy items you can report on right now. Today's edition covers a groundbreaking announcement out of ASU's West Campus. Arizona's governor and Phoenix's mayor will be there. You should be too. On the discovery front, ASU researchers are helping to make tap water safer and cost effective. And checking in from Anchorage, Alaska. Indigenous law students document their historic trip to Alaska. Learn how they'll serve tribal communities once they graduate. We'll share the videos. Let's begin the big three. ASU is adding new schools and breaking ground on new buildings all coming soon in the rapidly growing West Valley. It's happening at ASU's West Campus in Glendale. New schools that launch in 2023 will be announced. There's also a groundbreaking for a 500-bed residence hall opening and a four-story academic building. President Michael Crow will talk about the expansion and how it's helping develop the next workforce of forensics, investigators, teachers, healthcare workers, engineers, and more. ASUS has about 5,000 students now, but the plan is to grow to 15,000. Number two, so-called forever chemicals lurk in tap water in more than half of American homes. Inside an ASU lab, researchers have rendered these toxic chemicals biodegradable and harmless. Right now, there are no federal restrictions on how much these toxic chemicals can trickle through your tap water. ASU's Biodesign Sweetie Center for Environmental Biotechnology researchers developed a new method to help microorganisms destroy these chemicals. Here's how it works. As the bacteria oxidize the hydrogen, they pull out harmful contaminants. The biofilm then collects valuable metals, transforming wastewater into a resource and thereby mitigating the cost of treatment. The EPA proposed a national drinking standard for so-called forever chemicals, but experts say removing them could cost billions of dollars. This research cuts down on the cost considerably. College students typically unwind during spring break, but instead of laying on the beach, some Native American students from the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law traveled to Alaska and learned about tribal issues, crime, politics, voting rights, gun laws, and more. ASU Law offers the Alaska Native Issues and Solutions course to law students who take classes in the last frontier state. The goal is to learn about issues important to tribal communities so they can better serve them once they graduate and become lawyers. We've learned a lot about the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act, about how Alaska Native corporations work, village corporations and tribes, and how all these different entities come together to support Alaska Native people. During their week-long trip, students also enjoyed some unique Alaskan sites like the Moose and the famous Northern Lights. That's ASU's Big Three Stories. Want to use our video? Just credit Arizona State University. And if you'd like to schedule an interview to cover stories featured here, we can certainly help. Also, ASU has more than 300 experts you can talk to on deadline. Just click on the Media Relations and Strategic Communications page and look for an expert or reach out to me. Also, check out the ASU News Twitter page daily for stories and updates. That does it for Arizona State's Big Three. Thanks for watching and forks up.